Hello, today I am going to talk about how to download SQL Server 2014 in the free version. So, the SQL Server 2014, this has a two part. It is, has two part, the database engine component, which is, you can see, SQL Express 64 bit, ENU. This database engine component of SQL Server is the core service for storing, processing and securing data. Actually this is the part we have to download first and then secondly we will do the SQL Management Studio 64-bit ENU. This part is uh, SSMS is an integrated environment for managing and SQL infrastructure as well as analysis service, integration service, reporting service, Azure SQL database service will get, we can run from this management studio. So this is the part we are download after the SQL Express. Alright, so now go back to Google and download the file first. So go to Google and it's to write here SQL Server 2014 download. So you will get the first option download Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express. So click on this. It will take you to the Microsoft Download Center. So if you go down you have to just click on download. Here you can see Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express. So it's give you the many different options. So the one is 2014 Express. This would be this one. This is 196.7 MB. And the last one would be, yes, the 64 bit SQL Management Studio. This one also, these two we are going to download. So if we just click the next once you click the next it doesn't download then it says click here to download manually so once you click here then it's come back to the place and it says click here to download manually again so you just click this one here so now you start downloading and the last one also click here to download manually this one as well so it's going to take for a while i'm just going to pause the video and come back as soon as it's downloading done now you can see the download is complete so now if you just click here and say show in folder it takes you to the download folder so now here you can see the sql express and then sql management studio so we're going to cut this to from here then take this to to the desktop and I created SQL folder 2014 so click this one open it and paste it inside here so now we have both the item here so first we have to run the SQL Express after that SQL management studio Alright, so once you click on Express, double click, so say yes, and then it will give you the extraction path. I'm going to do it right here, so just say OK. After extract, as soon as extraction is complete, is automatically open. You can see the SQL Server installation center is open. Automatically, it opens. If it doesn't open, then you have to click the folder and open it, and then run it the application. So here we're gonna do the new installation. So new SQL Server 
standalone installation so just click this one So now here it says I use Microsoft update to check for updates. So I'm not going to click, I'm just going to go to the next. So here it is doing install setup file. Alright, so now here it says perform a new installation of SQL Server 2014 since I have a different instance. So that's why you can see you might have nothing empty here if you the first time installing. So just go to the next here and then I accept the license term. The next one for turn on customer experience improve program. So I'm not going to click this one. I just going to go to the next one. So click next here again. So in your case, you have to just select all here. Once you select all and then just click next. Alright, so now if you wanted to do the default instance, if you try to do the first time installation, you can click on default instance, otherwise you can click name instance if you wanted to change the instance. Then you can give any name you want here. So I just gonna give you the different name MS SQL Server 02 and then click next. In your case you can just click default instance and the is gonna be just MS SQL Server and you can click next. Alright, so now here is, so you can see SQL Server database engine is highlighted and all you have to do just click next here. Alright, so in this window, you can do the window authentication mode. In that case, it will only take the computer name and it will do the authentication or you can do mixed mode. In the mixed mode, you can use the both window authentication as well as you can use any password with the SQL Server system administration SA account. So with the SA username and you just have to give the password so that you can also open in a SQL Server authentication as well. So two different way you can connect to the data engine. So I'm just going to give the password
all right so now you can just your at current user is already here so you can just say next now in that now is going to install the installation will progress so after install this part will be done so i'm just going to uh, pause the video now as soon as it's done so we can go for management studio so i'm just going to pause then we'll come back again now here you can see the sql server express that engine service part successfully installed so we can close this part we can close it and then we have to now run this sql management studio this part so do the same way just double click here So once say yes, it will give you the path where to extract this one. And after extraction, it will give you the same way open for installation place. So we can just say yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna pause the video again will come back as soon as is open the installation center now you can see after extraction the sql server management studio is automatically it's open the sql server installation center so now you can click the first one then new sql server standalone inst installation the first one again all right so again you don't you want you can click here if you wanted to see the update uh, or you can just go to the next all right so now for perform a new installer installation of sql server 2014 we have used that's the last one so we're gonna go to the next so i accept and go to the next so he's already selected everything so just go to the next So now again the installation progress so as soon as it's finished i'll come back so i'm going to pause the video now you can see i've come back and then you can see now the management studio successfully also installed so now we can close everything and if you come to search and if you write sql you can see the sql server 2014 management studio this one you can right click and you can say pin to it bar 
so it will come to here in the taskbar so now you just open from taskbar thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you again bye